Hi, Dad. How are you today? Hey, Jordana. Good morning, and good morning to all our guests. It's a beautiful summer day, a beautiful extended 4th of July weekend, and we're looking forward to telling and talking about a wonderful Hallmark last night. We are. We're actually going to talk about two Hallmarks because um, this weekend we, we did want to touch upon one that we watched uh, that was on a couple yes, weeks ago. Yes, yes. But because this weekend they, Hallmark did something a little bit different this year. They replayed um, three wise men and a baby, but added extended cuts for um, yes. some of our, some viewers that may have watched it for the first so time they, in the so winter. So they took an old film that they had produced and they had augmented it and made it larger and more exciting for us all. They took basically the yes. some of the shots that they off the cutting room floor, right? Yes, uh -huh. and put them back in, which I thought the editors did fantastic because we couldn't even tell I, we were trying to I see. I could not see any difference between the old and the new. Nor that we could remember because yes. this movie is fantastic whether you were watching it for the first time it, last it, night. It, it is fun. I yeah. enjoyed watching it. And again, I remember parts that I had watched before and you mentioned how exciting it was. Yeah. And I uh, think Hallmark did a wonderful job. Yeah, it was like a deja vu yeah. watching it again and we were trying to figure out which were the extended cuts because it, like I was saying, the editors did, I thought, such a fantastic job putting them in there. Yes. Um, I wasn't sure how they were going to do it, if they were just going to put them in the end and add them as bloopers. Right. Um, but they didn't. They actually weaved them into the movie. And it had a Christmas theme. Of course. We're at Christmas in July. July. So as, yes. as it would be. And yes. it was um, adorable as I watched it. I loved it last yes. Christmas. And so... I think anybody watching it the first time, and second time. Especially those Americans who are suffering under the heat and the uh, changes <laughs> in the weather. Uh, cool this, uh, again, cooled everybody down. It yeah. did. It was cute. Um, it's a great holiday theme. Um, if you yeah. haven't seen it, watch it. It's one not to be missed. I'm sure they're going to replay it this month. They're playing all um, it's Christmas It's very movies. pleasurable to watch. And, you loved uh, it though? You thought it was good? I, I thought it was very good. I enjoyed it and there were a few teary scenes in it Yeah. Uh, because it deals with happiness and with people finding each other and families. Each and, son, yeah, right. And that's I, what's so exciting. And I don't think we're giving anything away um, when we talk about that just a little bit about the family, but they really are um, a traditional American family. Um, a single mother right. raising these three boys and, and their relationship. So, and it's always interesting that one of the uh, sons, who is a grown adult, lives in the basement, yeah. and another lives behind the house. <laughs> and the mother, the single mother, is very successful, and she enjoys her boys. And that's a very common thing when you only have boys, and there are families who only have boys. Yeah. Yes, they tend to stick around a little longer. <laughs> and how about the second film we're going so to talk about? So we're also going to discuss, because um, we didn't get a chance to do one of yes. these reviews on this one, um, a Greek recipe for romance. Oh, was, that was terrific. Yeah, yes. you really like that. You and Mom love this I've one. I've never been to Greece, but I feel like I enjoyed every moment of my visit on Hallmark. Yeah, this yes. was... Um, I. Greece, they've taken us to Greece also last year for yes. the Greek um, marriage, the, the wedding there. And each time they take us to Greece, because like you said, we haven't been to Greece, um, it's gorgeous. It yeah. is a place that Hallmark takes all their viewers to each time and shows us how beautiful it is and makes you want to yes. take your passport and go to Greece. And the Greek people are so lively and so loving and they seem to, to love uh, music and especially food. The food in this movie, which is this is about an That's American right. uh, girl who's having some job woes and different things and so her mother's living in Greece now for a new life and so she's going to spend the holiday, um, the summer holiday with yes. her mother and so while she's there she's like in the restaurant business in the state so she meets um, a Greek gentleman. Uh, the characters are played by Danielle C. Ryan who yes. plays Abby. She's new to Hallmark, um, but not new to films or yes, anything. we've seen her before. We have. So there yes. is a movie in our household that all yes. of the kids love called Cat in the Hat. And she plays? Thing One. Now, 
you would never know because in thing one, they wear a mask and you can't see it, but yep. here she is unmasked and gorgeous as can yes. be. And of course that part she played 20 years ago. Oh yeah, it was a yeah. fun, fun movie. If you haven't seen Cat in the Hat, I recommend it. It That's is a great, great. one. Um, and then Raphael Kirotakis. Now I couldn't tell if he was Greek by his last name. Just kidding. Oh, <laughs> he has a Greek last name, Greek, Greek but last he is name. from Athens, Greece. Again, Hallmark is yes. pulling cast in from and, and, the place and, they're and filming. This was filmed on a beautiful Grecian island called Syros, S-Y-R-O-S. And it's known for its food because it's in the hub of all the shipping uh, that goes historically where food and culture came together. And we were exposed to such beautiful, wonderful Greek cooking that was his mother's old recipes. Yeah. And uh, I thought something else interesting is that his father was a, a, a Greek multi-billionaire whose specialty was in the shipping industry. And you called that before because yes. I wasn't sure what industry. I thought maybe the hotel because she was in the hotel industry. Yes. And, and you said, oh no, uh, it's usually shipping. And there it was. We, we, we <laughs> thought of Aristotle Onassis. <laughs> and remember, he was married to Jacqueline Kennedy. And uh, he was a billionaire Greek shipping magnet. And of course, this young man decided he wanted to follow his mother's tradition on her island and become a cook, a wonderful restaurateur. Yeah. And the father didn't want him to become a cook, yeah. a chef. He had been he, studying in Paris. Yes. And so that was all this uh, controversy that made Hallmark such a wonderful movie because it took us to Greece it took us to love. And it took us back to the family roots because he oh, was yes. doing this because the father hadn't been back, remember, to this town in Greece because when the mother had passed, he didn't yes. want any of the memories to be. And he just, and so when he found out the reason why his son was just, he felt lost, but really the son had his purpose. Well, he wanted to have memories of his mother in the place where she loved and the joy of cooking. You're, you're right. And the story was very gripping. Yeah. And it was somewhat realistic, I would imagine, having never been to the Grecian Islands. And we were able to go there with Hallmark. And you enjoyed seeing the beauty. Oh, and and, and the story was such a wonderful story. And it was plausible. And that's what makes Hallmark. And there was the love. You know, yes. Hallmark has been bringing us love for years. And, yes. and I'm yes. so glad you are getting to watch it this time and we get to yes. share it as a family. But Hallmark is definitely, these these stories, especially in Passport to Love, which we're going back now, we're right. in Chris, I love while they're taking us and finding cast members in the cities that they're filming. Yes. And like this Raphael, he's not only they found him, he's a TikToker from that area. And and then he's also on a Greek TV series. So oh, he's no very in that handsome area. young man. Oh, he is, and he's talented. They're finding but new talent. You know, Jordana, one thing about watching Hallmark, you're not exposed to the daily grief and grind that we see on American newscasts. We don't see any of the horrors out there. We see what is something that we all enjoy. We see love, we see happiness, we see family. And you, how do you feel about that? So I that? think we escape. We, we, we get to Hallmark gives yes. each of us a time to escape, whether it's escaping in, in a winter Absolutely. wonderland, like we're in Christmas in July, yes. or when we're in Passport to Love, we get to escape to these places we've never been. Well, and after you've watched for an hour and a half, you feel like you've been there. Yeah. You've been part of the scene. And for that, we're very thankful to Hallmark. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, yes. it, it, they truly think they do a fantastic and tell job. Tell us about next week. So we're continuing Christmas in July. Again, I believe Hallmark brought us three wise men and a yes. baby extended cuts because there were five Saturdays in July and this being the 4th of July weekend. That's it's, right. it's a weekend where people are traveling and may not get to watch a brand new film. They're so stuck they in airports. Yes, basically. exactly. <laughs> Um, so I so next week is a new a premiere and it is called okay. Rescuing Christmas. Now it's not featuring um, new Hallmark uh, actors like Rachel Lee Cook is anybody who is my age has seen her growing up and she is back again this season. Yes. 
on Hallmark. She's very, very good. Now, this is an interesting one. So we're going to have to kind of wait and see. But this one, she is a kind of a bah humbug kind of person with oh, Christmas. Exciting. So she is different. wishing Christmas will just disappear. <laughs> so, <laughs> but Hallmark has a different idea. Yeah, so we're going to see. She's going to obviously find love because it's Hallmark. Yes. Because we all find love on Hallmark. And then and we're going to see how Christmas, she they have to oh, rescue it, obviously. So Well, it wants us to look forward to Hallmark next week. And uh, again, for all of our uh, wonderful uh, uh, fans and those who joined us, we wish you have a wonderful, wonderful week. And if you're on vacation this week, enjoy yeah. beautiful vacation. Keep out of Texas because they've got a hurricane coming in. But for the rest of us, yeah. uh, we wish you a wonderful week. And thank you for tuning in and joining us. And take care of your loved ones and yourself. Absolutely. Have a great one, everybody. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye.